Pisces, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits' message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. So you're about to go on a journey that is going to transform your energy of feeling like you're worthy, which in turn is going to transpire into you meeting a special person or a special somebody. So right now, what needs to happen is this. You need to focus more upon where you're being called in terms of learning something, okay? There's a certain skill that the universe is asking for you to concentrate, focus on, um, uh, a, a new sense of achievement, if you will. Because um, right now, where the energy is reading is that your sense of belief in yourself is too low. And when that's the, when that happens, we don't attract in what we truly want because we're not living by, from a sense of what we truly want. And when our energy is low, our creativity is low. Our energetic flow is low. So we're just not living our lives to our standards because we can barely even get out of bed. We're like, what is that? How am I supposed to create anything? I can barely even put my mascara on and eat my, my morning breakfast. You know what I mean? So it's only because right now there needs to be more of an, uh, an awareness of who you are. So in order for you to really understand clearly what skill needs to be learned and what path you must focus on, it's more important more than anything to get that higher self practice in. Okay. Get that energy work in. And what this is going to entail and what I have, um, through all of my experiences and all of my data collection, the most easiest way to access your higher self database with all of your wisdom. Okay is you want to wake up and you want to get outside first thing. I know, I know, I know you don't always want to, but you do it because you know why it's going to benefit your life and it's going to attract everything you want. So you wake up, you get outside first thing in the morning, you go for a 15, 20 minute walk, nothing serious, throw in an ebook or an audio book, um, some nice music, maybe even get some hyphy music going, get your energy going, right? Something fun, right? Throw in music that makes you happy. Okay. That's all we want to say is, does it make your energy happy? That's the right thing for you. 20 minutes. Walk to a, a park if you can. Walk to a, a neighborhood park or you could come back home if you want after that, if there's no park handy. But what we want you to do after that is very important because this is one of the biggest steps to clearing your energy, okay? We want you to put on your timer for 15 minutes and we want you to do a 15 minute in more intense or vigorous movement. This could be dancing. This could be moving randomly. This could be squats. This could be jump squats. This could be whatever you want. Pretending you're skipping, right? Fake skipping, jumping jacks. You could do even put on a 15 minute follow along high intensity beginner friendly, right? We don't, we're not trying to, you know, win any medals here. We're just looking to clear our energy. So the, the essentially wherever you are in your fitness level, move your body more vigorously than normal. Okay. That's it. No, we're not, again, trying to, you know, you know, get to the Olympics here. We're just trying to clear some energy. So whatever that is, 15 minutes. Okay. Then what we want you to do is we want you to sit down with yourself Now you can get some water. Of course, um, you can, you know, get some caffeine if you like, you know, but you know, don't take too much time. We're not sitting co coffee over here where you shoot it down or whatever. Right. But get on the couch, sit with yourself, get near a desk, whatever it is. Okay. And when your energy is cleared, when you have put oxygen into your body, you've been outside in nature. So you've grounded yourself. You've now grounded yourself. You've cleared your energy, you put oxygen in your body and you are ready to connect. Okay. Your body is ready to release and let go and connect. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to sit, breathe into your heart, put on some music. Okay. My favorite lately has been Chantress Sebra, Chantress S-E-B-A on YouTube. My favorite one is the Lion's Gate meditation activation. Uh, it's just beautiful. I just love her, love them. Um, so give it a try if you like, but something that resonates with you, binaural beats, um, focus music, whatever. It doesn't matter what the music is as long as it keeps you feeling relaxed. Okay. And you breathe into your heart. You listen to the music, you let go, you let go entirely. And then you start to pay attention and listen and observe to what comes through for you and feeling where the universe, what the universe's guidance is. It can come through in different ways, depending on where you are in your journey. So you may see things, you may hear things, you may just feel things. And it's a sense of knowing almost as like you kind of have this clarity. Oh, I get it. This is it. Right. Or they may show you, or they may speak to you again. It's wherever you are. And it's however um, amount of layers that are built up over letting go. So sometimes we've uh, let go of things 
over the years. Uh, sometimes we, we haven't, and it just depends. So there's no right or wrong. Don't put expectation on what you're going to receive. It's just about where you are and know that that muscle is, is it, that meditation session, that morning higher practice is a muscle. So the more you do it, the stronger it's going to get built. Okay. That is going to give you the clarity and the download for how you can create the reality that you want, what your higher self really wants, what your inner knowing is really want. From that point, you're going to receive the awareness, right? You're going to connect to your authenticity, who you really are, right? Not your limiting constructions of this life. Okay. That's limited. You're, you're not your lifetime. You're not this life here. That's not who you are, right? They're, they've been lying to us, right? You're, you're, you're connected to the other side. Your soul is still on the other side with all your lost crossed over loved ones with with all of your spirit guides and your higher self is guiding you through this journey of life. No matter what, they're always guiding us. But when our mind is more active, we are choosing to make choices from that limited response. And we receive a lot of contrast in life. Okay. Contrast doesn't feel very good. And it's because we are acting from a place of the past instead of tuning in and being present in the moment with the now that morning routine will allow you to trust your knowing and to trust and start to get to familiarize yourself with yourself. Right? So you will able to know what you love and you'll be able to be truthful to it. You'll know that you love something because you know it because you're connected to the part of you that knows things. If you're connected to your thinking mind, you don't know anything. You're like, everything's uncertain and I'm full of fear. What do I do? Right? Here's where I came from. I came from poverty. I came from being overweight. I came from not ever be being respected. So I'm never going to have love, right? That's going to be the thinking mind. Not fun, not worthwhile, not even worth it. Right? But we connect to the heart and we connect to our soul and our higher self every morning. And then the thinking mind has a direction because the heart says, ah, this is what I want. The thinking mind's like, let's go get it, right? But when the thinking mind has a mind of its own, it goes back to trauma from the past. Not super great, right? So this is what we're experiencing from you. The path that you need to walk down right now is that every single morning connection to your higher self, because right now we see that you're living in a perspective that isn't the truth, a perspective of denial, feeling fearful, feeling disappointed, feeling anxious, feeling worried. Where are my manifestations? Are they going to show up? What the heck? And universe is saying, stay consistent with connecting to your higher self and all things will show up for you because right now we feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of focus being prioritized into what should I do? What should I do? Who should I be? Where should I go? What, wh how do I get it? Right? A lot of trying to figure it out, searching, seeking, looking, right? That is only going to leave you more lost and confused because again, it's your thinking mind off of your, your traumas here so far, your life here so far, you're reacting to it, right? So you think you want it. You're trying to figure it out. Maybe it's this direction. Maybe it's that direction, but you don't really know that sense of knowing comes from connection. And the minute that you know, the minute that you know, Pisces, what you want, because you've done the work and it's not big work. It's just, it's just connecting to that part of us. That is us. So it's like the most rewarding thing you could ever do. It, it, as a matter of fact, it's not even worthwhile being here. If you're not connected to your higher self, because we're going through a lot of contrast, right? It's sure. It's worthwhile. Obviously we're being dramatic, but you know what I'm saying, right? It's just so much better off because our, our light is so dimmed when we are operating from our thinking mind. It's so dim. And we live in the light of others. Our shadows are so profound. We literally do not shine. And we live in the light in the, through the light in the shadows of others, if anything, right? And in order for you to shine your brightest, to receive the clarity and receive the purpose and know what service you're here to provide and know why you incarnated into this lifetime in this moment of time, you're going to get all those answers by cons staying consistent with the practice of higher self connection every morning without fail. It doesn't matter if it's raining, stick your head outside, breathe in some oxygen, put in a 15 minute follow along hit training, get it done, right? You get it done. You make it happen every day. This is what you do for yourself. And then guess what happens? You remember who you are Pisces. And when you remember who you are, you attract in everything that you could ever want. And that's how the game of life goes. So don't ever doubt yourself because you are an entrepreneur. You are a business being, you are successful. You are a leader. You are somebody that others want to hear from. Okay. And so connect to your higher self and this will all become activated. You will remember that. All right. So your angels are saying to you, self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your coworkers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Okay. I never thought that just by following my heart and meditating and writing down all of my anxieties and fears was going to lead me here, but it did because that was my journey of self-discovery of realizing 
realizing what I'm here for. And it came from my trauma of living in other people's light. It came because I didn't believe in myself, so I put everyone on a pedestal ahead of my own all the time, always, no, no belief. I said things from my thinking mind, trying to get attention, hoping that worked. Well, this, if I say this thing and if I, if I people please, if I do these things, then, then maybe they'll respect me or, you know, actually care about my, what my opinion is, right? I never understood. I never understood why I wasn't getting the response from the world that I felt like something seems off here, right? And it's only because I wasn't connected to who I really was. I let my disbelief in myself, my thinking mind, not I let, but that's, that's how it goes until we go through the journey, right? And that first step is connecting to who you really are and then everything starts to change. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.